Today I brought you to the Steinfurth and Kigby Canal. Now this canal is probably one of the best in the country. It's just produced fish for, for many, many years now. It's a place I fish very regularly. Now when it starts to get cold, the fish start to pull into the town area, into the Whitewell section. But of course, before that, there's a bridge that's before the Whitewell section called Moores Bridge. And this is more rural, it's out of town. But this is where the fish start to congregate before it gets really cold. So it's a great place to come and it's a place that's really underfished. I'm regularly asked why our team, Drennan Barnsley Blacks, and also myself, are so consistent on this part of the canal. We used to fish bloodworm a lot, but now it's more with bread punch and pinkies and fishing over ground bait. And that is exactly what I've done today. I've fished pinkies, just loose feeding over a bed of ground bait. Like all types of fishing, on this canal, feeding accurately is the main key to catching lots of fish. Something that's so simple but often overlooked is having the right tools for the job. The majority of the roach fishing on this canal is done on a close line around about eight to nine metres. Using a, a catapult with the heavier elastic is just not quite right. You need to use the pole line type catapult with the lighter elastic. I'm all for keeping things simple. The catapults with the heavier type elastics are just too fierce for fishing at this short distance. Once you use too heavier elastic, the tolerance is just not right. You can spread bait out past where you're fishing. With a pole line catapult, keeps things much neater and within the boundaries of the float. You don't want bait going past the actual float. You want to keep them roach inside because once they pass your float, they're difficult to catch. So the, the catapult aids your fishing. It stops your feeding past your float. And this is one of the most important things to catching a bag of roach. There's two different grades of elastic, a light and a medium. Both elastics are soft and stretchy and don't have the power to feed out as far as maybe 13, 14 metres. These catapults are made for that short distance. I'd step up to the medium when you get some wind blowing at you so you can keep that bait accurate. The fine mesh conical pouch helps to group the bait in the bottom of the pouch and once you fire this groups the bait tight around the float. It's also got a moulded plastic teardrop type puller and this helps when your hands are wet and you're catching lots of fish to grip the pouch to feed. The frame has a non-slip rubber part to the base of the catapult and is easy to hold when you're loose feeding. This section of the canal is Thornan District Water. It's day ticket on the bank and it's well worth a visit. Today I've just fished with normal white pinkies on the canal. Uh, Oh no, I, I've used bronze pinkies actually. Bronze pinkies on this canal are a, a brilliant, brilliant bait and also mixed with a few fluoros. So I've loose fed bronze pinkies over a bed of ground bait. So I've cupped in six or eight balls of ground bait at the start with just a little bit of emping and also a few pinkies just to kick off the fishing. I started off fishing with a 0.6 rig with a bulk and just two droppers dropping through with just a single pinky down to the bottom. And this canal's around about maybe eight or nine foot deep. So a 0.6 rig is about the right size float. And I caught a few fish to start, but quickly realized that the bigger fish were off bottom. So I've picked up a rig with a, a lighter 0.4 float, just strung out shots 
so I could fish through the water and fished about a foot off the bottom. And it's been absolutely brilliant fishing. I've caught about 14 pounds in only about three and a half hours fishing, a brilliant session catching roach.